In the popular online game Wizard 101, there are seven primary schools of magic, and at least four supplementary schools of magic. The seven primary schools are balance, fire, storm, ice, myth, life, and death. The supplementary schools involve sun, star, moon, and shadow spells. Players use these spells in order to find and defeat the game's major antagonists Malastare Drake, Morgant the Shadow Queen, Grandfather Spider, and the Paradox. The magic of balance is harmony and finding equality in all things. It draws on elements from each of the other schools, incorporating bits and pieces of those other energies to fill in the spaces between the schools. Wizards who focus on balance magic, known as sorcerers, are broad-minded. In their minds, all things deserve consideration, and there may be many answers to a single question. The drawback to this point of view is a tendency to seem impassive or indecisive, and never willing to embrace a side or position. Sorcerers use transmutation to blend the forces of the other schools for their spells. Sorcery does not draw upon internal aspects of the caster, nor does it rely on external forces. Instead, it is the creation of something new by combining elements in unique and powerful ways. The Balance School will train its student wizards to be effective in group play. Balance wizards are most effective in group play because they have the ability to buff other players as well as themselves. Although effective in group play, they can still sufficiently play alone. They have a little bit of everything, which allows them to surpass most monster resistances, heal themselves a little bit, and buff players. Balance is more advanced than the other schools, and harder to master, but its power is unmatched by the other schools. It is not recommended for beginners. Balance alumni include Ronan Dawn, Jack Rose Ryder, Alex Crow, and Jacob Legend Hart. Fire is passion, the bright, burning flame of raw emotion sweeping over everything. Those who follow the school of fire, known as pyromancers, are tempestuous, quick to anger, and consumed by whatever drives them at that moment. They tend to walk a fine line. Having great passion and enthusiasm for one's loves in life is good, but watch out. Passion can burn you up and consume you, leaving nothing but a charred husk of your former self. Pyromancers use incantations to dominate and convince fire creatures to do their bidding. Fire magic traces its origins back to the fierce fire dragons, the race of titans that ruled the land in the days before. The fire school will train its student wizards to do damage over time. Fire wizards pile on spells that will continually do damage to the enemy. Initially these spells will not do much damage, but they eventually stack for possible large amounts of damage in short amounts of time. Fire wizards also learn the ability to stun, which disables the enemy from acting for one turn. They can heal themselves enough to get by, but nothing substantial. Fire School alumni include Awesome the Source and Blake PvP. Ice magic is all about persistence, slow but steady progression and advancement, like the great glaciers forever sliding across the landscape. Those who embrace the power of ice, known as thaumaturges, exhibit great patience and strength, but as a result they sometimes become rigid and inflexible. Thaumaturges use chance to bargain or plead with ice creatures to serve them. Ice magic has its origins in the great ice giants, a race of titans that built massive castles in the sky in the days before. The ice school will train its student wizards to take high amounts of damage and survive. Ice wizards have the highest natural health points and defenses which enable them to take large amounts of damage without dying. It is very hard to defeat them. A lot of their functional spells have to do with increasing their defenses and absorbing damage. They also have the ability to taunt enemies, which forces the enemy to focus attacks on them. This can come in handy when playing in a group. Ice School alumni include Christina Streamer, Kevin Battleblood, Alexander Lionheart, and Fairy Queens. Storm magic is all about creativity. It represents that flash of insight, or the spark of inspiration that makes you yell, Eureka. It is about the pleasure of catching lightning in a bottle. Wizards that embrace the school of storm, known as diviners, are driven by the thrill of investigation and discovery, the joys of invention and ingenuity, the power of creating and building. 
The drawback to such pursuits is the tendency to get lost in the maze of thoughts and being paralyzed to make a decision. Diviners use verses to charm, enthrall or hypnotize creatures to help them. Storm magic has roots in the power of the majestic storm lords, the race of titans that ruled the seas in the days before. The storm school will train its student wizards to do a lot of damage. Storm wizards have the ability to unleash high amounts of damage from an early level, which is good, but they place too much emphasis on power, and therefore suffer in terms of accuracy. They also have the least amount of base health points of any of the schools. When enemies cast damage buffs on themselves or damage reducers on a friendly player, storm wizards can remove those spells. Storm school alumni include Fallon Deathslinger and Stormbreaker of Final Bastion. Myth is imagination. The power of the mind, and everything it can create, drives myth magic. It is illusion and dreams made real. If the wizard can conceive it, it can be brought forth and even brought to life. Beware, for when imagination becomes too fanciful and whimsical, dreams can escape control and run wild. Wizards of the myth school, known as conjurers, use naming to summon beasts of legend by memorizing and calling out their true name. Myth dwells between fire and ice, for that is where the shadows lie, and myths are the shadowy forms of thought made real. The myth school teaches the ability to take down defenses on other players, so if someone is stacking a bunch of defensive spells, a myth wizard can easily get rid of them. Myth school alumni include Ian Lion Shield and Formal Phantom. Life is spirit, the force of awareness and existence. It is about constant growth and movement. Practitioners of life magic, known as theurgists, are positive, enthusiastic people who seek to appreciate the simple pleasures. At times, however, they can be too flighty or frivolous when circumstances demand otherwise. Theurgists use songs to breathe life and spirit into a vessel. Unlike other magic, which relies on summoning, coercing, or beseeching, life magic harnesses the power of the song of creation to create something new. Scholars believe that theurgy channels the tapestry of music from which the spiral was created, and that in echoing portions of the great symphony, a wizard can bring forth and create life where none previously existed. Life magic rests between fire and storm, for the spark of life comes from those two forces. The Life School will train its student wizards to heal themselves and other players. Life wizards are given the ability to heal themselves the most effectively, as well as the unique ability to heal other players. Combined with this, they do low to moderate damage attack spells with extremely high accuracy rates. Life School alumni include Blaze Life Hammer and Edward Life Gem. The Death School will train its student wizards to steal and support themselves. Death wizards belong to an advanced school, simply because most of their spells take multiple step combinations to use effectively. Their spells have the ability to absorb health from the enemy, which serves as a way for them to heal themselves. They have many preparatory spells that allow them to build up high damage spells. Death is about ending and closure. All things pass eventually, and time cannot be held back forever. Wizards devoted to death magic, known as necromancers, understand this fact about everything around them and strive to face it without fear. They try to make the most of their time. Beware, though, some wizards that become morbid or try to cheat death through undeath. Necromancers use whispers to strengthen their will, and draw on the power of courage to channel their own fears out of themselves and at their opponents. Death magic sits between ice and storm, for the cold energy of undeath draws on those two forces. Death School alumni include Thomas Lionblood and Ratbeard. Sun magic is about power. Power to endure, power to persevere, and power to change. Wizards that choose to learn the supplementary school of sun magic will charge up their strength and focus their efforts to cast stronger, more accurate main school spells and even manipulate those spells into other forms. The focus of the Sun School is primarily on enchantments and mutations. At the basic level they just give boosts to accuracy, pierce, mutates, and damage. Several Sun spells were also banished from existence due to being too powerful for the game. Moon magic is about change. Historically the moon represents change, in seasons, tides and even in the moon's phases. 
The moon is important in mythology. It is said the full moon brings on the change of the werewolf. Wizards choosing the supplementary school of moon magic can change themselves into other creatures. That change comes with all the strengths, weaknesses, and spells associated with the chosen creature. Star magic is similar to sun magic after all the sun itself is a star, but where sun magic enhances individual spells, star magic enhances the wizard. Wizards that choose to learn the supplementary school of star magic can boost themselves over the course of several rounds to raise shields, strengthen spells, or improve stats. The star school is focused around auras. Auras are magical energies that surround and protect or strengthen the wizard. Shadow is an underlying, reality-defining, and mind-bending magic. Shadow magic can only be trained by spending training points and cannot be learned as a primary school of focus. Shadow magic is an ancient form of magic, so powerful and so dangerous that Bartleby and Grandmother Raven told Merle Ambrose not to delve into it, and especially not teach it to his students. Shadow magic was forbidden, for it touches the true essence of the spiral. Although traces of it have escaped into the dark regions of the spiral, it was largely unknown. Shadow magic enhances the spells you cast while the shadow magic spell is in effect. It is unstable and difficult to control. Players will need to learn how to best manage shadow magic and learn how to harness its very powerful benefits. Which schools have you tried? Which one is your favorite? Comment below. Thanks for watching our documentary on the Wizard 101 Schools of Magic. Subscribe and comment below on what you'd like to see next from our team. See you in the spiral.